Hello everyone, my name is Frank Rotello, the Mechanical Seal and Reliability Engineer with Seaward Equipment. Today I'm going to talk about the ease and simplicity of installing an ISC2 cartridge mechanical seal into the FlowServe Durco ANSI 3A pump. The Durco ANSI 3A has some unique features and is used in all types of industrial applications. The bearing frame has a micrometer adjustment plate for setting the impeller clearance. It utilizes FlowServe bearing guard oil seals, has an oversized uh, bearing frame, and a self-ventilating, solids expelling seal chamber called an FML, or Flow Modifier Large. It also utilizes a semi-closed impeller, that is both that is both more efficient and easier to, to install than a traditional open vein impeller. Once the pump is disassembled with the seal removed, you want to make sure that the pump is in good operating condition and is within acceptable tolerances. Please refer to the Durco manual for those values. If the pump is beyond those limits, please contact our authorized service center and have a full review done before a new seal is installed into your pump. Now that all the checks have been made and found to be in acceptable limits, we can start to reassemble the pump. As I reassemble the pump, I will explain some of the advantages of the Durco over the competitor's pumps. Unlike some of the competitor's pumps, the Durco uses an adjustment micrometer plate, three jam bolts that are not used to move this adjustment plate, but only to lock it in place. To reestablish the proper impeller clearance, you'll need to know the operating conditions of your pump. If you refer to the Durco manual and you know the conditions of that pump, uh, for your pump, you can look up the impeller clearance chart to obtain those values. Once you have the setting values, you can then install the cover plate without the mechanical seal. Next, you install the impeller, remembering to put in the new gasket. Tighten the impeller down to its recommended setting. Adjust the micrometer adjustment plate back until the impeller just touches the cover plate. Now refer back to the clearance distances obtained earlier. To set the impeller clearance, there are, it can be done in one of three ways. With a feeler gauge behind the impeller, with a dial indicator at the back of the shaft, or by counting the adjustment notches on the micrometer plate. Turn the adjuster plate in to the desired setting. Lock the jam bolt back into place. And spin the shaft to make sure that there are no interferences. Now, your pump is set in run position. That's correct. There are no field adjustments that have to be made, which is a huge advantage over the competitor's pumps. Next, we can install the seal and get the pump ready for service. Lightly apply the approved O-ring lubricant to the shaft as well as the O-ring that's inside the mechanical seal sleeve. Make sure you have the proper orientation, port orientation that is. The ISC2 mechanical seal has three main ports a flush port and two ports on the atmospheric side. The quench at the top and the drain at the bottom. The drain port should always be left open. The quench and the flush should be plugged if not, rec if not required for service.
Install the cover plate, making sure you have the gasket in place on the, the uh, cover plate itself. Tighten the cover plate bolts to the recommended settings. Install the four gland bolt to the mechanical seal, making sure you keep them loose. Now install your impeller, making sure that your gasket is in place. Tighten the impeller to the recommended setting. Now, referring back to the seal, man the seal manual, obtain the torque specifications to tighten all four gland bolts down. Once all four gland bolts are tightened, you can then tighten down the drive collar set screws. Remember to go in an alternating pattern. Once the set screws are tightened down to the recommended torque, you can then remove the four setting clips. The pump is now ready for service. We hope you've enjoyed our demonstration video. If you are in any of our territories, both sales or service, throughout New York State, please contact one of our sales engineers to request a site visit. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Frank the Seal Guy. Have a good day.